Hey everybody, welcome to another video and I am now at back at the Felsburn farm and spring has progressed some. The canola has popped. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I'm still waiting on the sunflower to pop up here. Um, but yeah, the canola's popped. Um, see, we've got some wind turbines that have been constructed now in the background. Um, and yeah, so uh, today, uh, I've got a couple of days here, so I think what I'm going to get started on is planting. I'm just going to do a small field, but first I'm going to, I think I'm going to try something I've never done before, honestly, uh, planting with fertilizer in the planter. Um, so I think I'm going to try that. I just need to drive down to the uh, dealership and uh, see how I'm going to fill this up, see if it accepts the uh, pallet of fertilizer that I purchased. So. Uh, let's go do that. This so is run up for a second, but uh, yeah, to be honest, I've <laughs> uh, been running a lot of uh, John Deere equipment and I have kind of been missing this uh, tractor, so it's nice to switch between all the different uh, well, I actually, I've been driving Fent, too, a lot. Um, so, yeah, I, I have been missing this tractor a little bit. Just, it's got that really, you know, just, it's got that look. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think, uh, let me just, before I forget, I'm going to switch this to, oh, wait. <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, right, this can't do canola. Um, hmm. What do I want to plant? I guess soybeans. Uh, not my favorite, but it's a, yeah, keep toggling the same four crops. <laughs> it's going to change anything. Um, wait, so where? Oh, I know. I just remembered my, uh, yeah, my other planter is over there. That's right. Okay. Just memory refresh. I just got back here from the California farms. Um, so yeah. All right. Is that... Where is... Oh. Huh. Somehow the hoses weren't connected. That's weird. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, this is raised. Is it? Yeah, I guess. Oh. Alright, now we're ready. <laughs> Just a short trip, um, since that's where my forklift equipment are already. Oops. Although, now that I think about it, it is kind of challenging driving on these roads, <laughs> since they're kind of, they just feel so narrow. Look, <laughs> I'm literally using up the entire um, area there. Um, whatever. I'm already almost there. Shouldn't be too much traffic, I hope, maybe. Plus I got grass to pull off in, that's fine. But yeah, something, I don't know, I have to look at this planter again. This is a mod, by the way. Um, I have this same model at the California farm, and I was using it uh, a couple videos ago, and the ridge marker was not center with the tractor, so as far as I know, the ridge marker should be marking a center line for you to easily follow with the center of the tractor, but I don't know what was going on in there. And... Uh, I'm going to try again, and I mean, I just learned to drive with offset, off-center, so not that big of a deal, but it is kind of annoying, um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes, but right now, <coughs> where's my, 
Oh, wait. <clears throat> Let me do that now. Open cover for fertilizer. Where's that? Okay, next cover. So I guess, I don't know, we'll see. Personally, oops. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there we go. Uh, my, my belief is that this is supposed to be for seed and that these are meant for fertilizer, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but the, the, yeah, it's putting the seed in these little canisters and Apparently the fertilizer is going to go up there because these have seed in them. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Where is my... There's the seed that is... Yeah, apparently the forks aren't working. Uh, hmm. Where's my bag of fertilizer? Oh. Oh, that's weird. Definitely bought one. All right. Guess I'm buying another one because I don't really see where that went off to. I'm gonna try. Yeah, no, I want to. I want to do solid first. And fire up my brand new skid loader. I wonder where it must be on the other side there. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Don't even have to get out. <laughs> Don't even have to get out for the forks. Which actually, yeah. I'm sorry. You don't have to do that in regular skid loaders anyway. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I just have, I've really been appreciating the, uh, there it is, been appreciating the mod that makes you get out and connect things, but yeah, you don't have to get out of the skid loader to connect forks and things. Pardon me. Okay, oh look at this, it's going to work perfectly, whoops. Let's drive straight through in between. Ah, look at that. Oops, nope, not quite. I was stuck on there. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. The same, like, makes the fork sticky. Doesn't let you slide in anymore. Crap. Okay, there we go. Okay, that is the end. Oh, that is the end. There we go. Got it this time. Oh, you know what? That's... Oh. <laughs> I think I can reach that. Let's see. Super boom action. Don't knock off the bridge marker there. Oh, wow, check that out. Ha, it's working. Yep, it works. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Shoot, keeps starting and stopping. Why is it going that far? That is weird. It should keep going. Huh. No idea why it's going that. <laughs> why is it not? That's weird because it. Oh no, it is. Wow. This is gonna, literally going to take forever if I have to do this. There's got to be an easier way. Nope. And as soon as I get out, that's okay. I have no idea. Always something silly going on. I guess I wanted me to get out of the skid later, I don't know. 
Alright, let's see. That was one bag. So gave us. I'm not planting huge fields, so it should be enough for now. Oh yeah, that's funny. Famous last words. Right. Try not to hit anything. Okay, now I need to figure out what field I want to plant at. Still zero hours in the iron meter. Just let this go down in a second. Okay, well, we got fertilizer and we got seed. Now we can go pick a field, we plant, what did I say? Soybeans and, oh cool, and we got the application rate loaded. Uh, close cover, okay. And they're all closed now. All right, what field are we going to? Oops, I need to get this turned on. Yeah, so obviously, Nitrogen is low in all the areas I sample. That seems to be the on par with always starting at new farms. Nitrogen content's depleted for some reason. Maybe that's just the way the precision farming mod works. Um, let's see. Where are my... Oh, okay. Oh, 21's a good size. But I could, yeah, I'm going to use a bigger plant for that. You know what? I'll do... Could do 25. It's all the way up there. Yeah, I'll we'll just head out that direction. I'm going the wrong way on this side. Yep, so it's a beautiful day. Temperatures are, oh wait, well, 8 degrees. Not that great. But uh, the other farms are warming up quite a bit. California was warmed up uh, a lot, so just need a couple more days of warm weather here. But at least soil temperatures uh, up. So I said oh, skip 28 just because I don't have any solid data on that one. Even though it is conveniently right there. I realized with the precision farming mod, oh, it becomes a truck. <laughs> so I realized with the precision farming mod, oh, here comes another one. With the precision farming mod, um, you can do the soil samples yourself or you can pay a geologist to come out and do that for you. And that's uh, something I realized. I might try that out later. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid traffic now. Got myself back here. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, I'm going to use the bigger planter for the field right here. 21.
I should just, I'll just plant this one down right here instead of dealing with traffic. And I want to plant. Uh, I do want to plant. I want to plant perpendicular the slope. Start up here. Actually, let me see if I can get that loaded. 28. We want to have a. Oh, how do you do that again? Uh, crap. How do you get it to do that? Hmm. I just did this a little bit ago to get the geologist to take samples. Oh, that's where I was reading that. Consult the book of knowledge here. Prison farming, soil sampling. Doing a little bit of homework here. Let's see. Where did I read that earlier? Oh, geologist. Oh, soil types. I see. It's got to be set to soil types. There we go. There we go. Nope, wrong field though. 28. There we go. That's a lot of money. <laughs> $2,000 to drill holes in the field. But it saves me the tedious task of going back and forth with the soil probe. watching the dashboard there. Looks like the fuel level and the coolant temperature are actually moving gauges. That's pretty cool. Oh, look. Oh, that was fast. Soil sample is taken and analyzed and... Oops. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay, a little bit of difference here with... I don't want to clear anything. I also wanted to stop selecting. Oh, okay, there we go. So, silty clay on the top. Okay. And yeah, need the nitrogen, but it'll be interesting to see now how the nitrogen changes once we start planting. Okay. And one more thing to check. Oh no, <laughs> yep, I, that just popped in my head. So soybeans are not ready to be planted yet. All right, no big deal, because we can just change crop. Look, it's already in sunflowers. So yeah, definitely can't do cotton. Uh, can't do corn, so sunflowers it is. Even though they're, I don't know what they're good for yet. <laughs> just get something in the ground, it's a small field. It'll look pretty too. Okay, speed is set. So let me not go down there. Um, and now we want to set up the application rate. Oh, okay, it's going to increase it just for sunflowers, though. How can I. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to increase the. If it'll let me. Doesn't look like it's letting me. Alright. We'll just start with this. The automatic rate. Even though it's not going to be that much. I'm going to get my ridge marker out too. There we go. Yeah, see that doesn't look... I don't think there's any way to adjust the ridge marker either, but... Uh, 
Uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright, get Rangers off here. Um, anything else I need to adjust here? No, it's sours down. This one's weird. It has to be down for it to let you move the so or the ridge marker. I don't know. So I've got plenty of room to go back and forth here. No crazy turns needed. But yeah, this doesn't look like it's center. But Look, we got a little orange bar now, so nitrogen contents come up a little. Yeah, look, it's not center. So I don't know why it's not marking the center, but I'm just going to learn to drive with an offset now. So it'll be the right of my front tire, probably. I think that's what it was in the other farm. Maybe that's, maybe that's just how this planter is, I don't know. Yeah, right at the right edge of the front tire. Should be about right. Be leaving a bit of a gap there, but that's okay. It's just sunflower, right? <laughs> My cash crops are going to be planted with the uh, Great Plains planter anyway. Marker first. I'm driving through my neighbor's field here. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> this time I left the gap by accident. Oops. Whatever, I don't even know what this was before. 
It'd be funny if it was previously a sunflower. I didn't even look at what it was before. Pop out here. Oh, oh, okay. I was wondering what these marks were. I guess they're the uh, tire tracks from the planter. Oh, okay. This was corn. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Definitely needs nitrogen if this was corn previously. Um, and yeah, I have a I have a fertilizer spreader, so I can come back again and fertilize this again. Um, but I just wanted to see how what it's like to plant with fertilizer in the planter. So okay. Well, I think I will keep at this and end the video here. So welcome back to Felsbrunn. Um, and yeah, thankfully it's greened up. Um, trees finally have green leaves instead of looking dead. And uh, yeah, excited to keep making changes and um, making it feel like a working farm. So I will, yeah, keep at this. Love this tractor, by the way. It's a great one. But, uh, yeah. Alright. I'll see you in the next one.